from the collagen molecules from the bones or skin maybe from pigs or cows through a process called istihara or istihlal istihala or istihlal the chemical structure and molecular class of protein in the collagen is changed to form a new gel like substance known as gelatin then what is sharia rooney is it halal okay what is collagen collagen is simple from leather and from bones and from joints we can get this one what is istihara istihara is transformation to transfer one thing to another thing thing was not just impure but it is now tahir pure you know not just in tahir not just impure tahir is pure regarding this process the scholar have two opinion one type of scholar it has transformed due to a chemical configuration to the point that the new substance could not be called by the name of the old then it is pure and permissible Sharia scholar is saying, if due to chemical action or reaction or molecular reconfiguration changes becoming in a thing and we convert something to another thing, then the Sharia ruling will be changed. Another example: grapes are halal or haram? Fruit, sa? Okay, juice of grape, halal or haram? This is category number one. Grapes, in shape of fruit, juice, fresh juice, halal or haram? Okay, the rashtata wa gana wa kada fa bi zabat when we boil and do some. I am not explaining because um, I am afraid that nobody will do it. <laughs> okay, so with some changes, it will be wine. Then this wine is halal or haram? Okay. Haram. The stain number one is halal. Stain number two is halal. Stain number three is haram. haram. When we put salt and with chemical reaction, it will be vinegar. Halal or haram? Haram. Now, is there any chemical changes? Yes. Yes. Fruit, then juice. But there was no some chemical changes. The same thing, only just solid and liquid, in liquid shape and solid shape. When chemical changes is coming, so the hukum is changed because it is now wine, is not angur, not grapes, not juice. While the juice and wine is liquid, in one bottle, if you see in one bottle. Yes, same color, same thing in same bottle. Even in UK, some religious people they are enjoying with the bottle of wine and they are drinking juices. So, and they are saying, why not to use this bottle because this bottle is of glass? So I have to enjoy. It. But with the chemical changes, now the hukum changed, and now this is haram. Then again, chemical changes coming. And convert this wine to vinegar. Again, the hukum changed. But what was the raw material of this vinegar? So it's fine. Uh, grapes. Grapes. Grapes halal or haram? So this is coming to the original material, the raw material, because this vinegar is not coming. From wine, vinegar is not coming from wine, but we removed like a blood on my cloth. I removed this blood. I removed this intoxication portion, and now it is vinegar. So with the chemical changes, its name has changed to vinegar, and this vinegar is from. If you see the bottle. It is written that there is apple vinegar, grapes vinegar, pineapple vinegar. Nobody will say that this is wine vinegar 
and this has come from wine because what is the original material? It is grapes. Okay. The Sharia scholar is saying if the dead animal or the pigs is converted by molecular transformation or molecular reconfiguration and we did some chemical changes then the name is changed from pig bones and pig leather to gelatin. Is it true? Maybe. No. In all packing it is written that this is beef gelatin or this is gelatin or pork gelatin or any other <coughs> fish gelatin. Okay. There is a bit of information regarding this which I would like to share. So what you are mentioning is absolutely correct. But what happens is that protein and probably... Uh, we will discuss all these things in detail uh, sure. today. Protein is by default the, the chemical construction of protein is that it's sensitive to heat. And to give a simple example, egg is protein and when you fry an egg you put it on heat and it changes color. So that's a reconfiguration that is happening. There is a point at which the protein will lose the original uh, origin of, of, of the animal that the protein is being driven from. The only way to understand whether this has happened or not is through checking the DNA of the end product yes. whether the whether the product still holds that DNA yes. or that signature of the original product. Yes. If it has gone to a point where the DNA is not recognizable, then you can safely say yes. that this the is same, not. The same two examples are coming. The same thing which uh, Mati is uh, describing. What is the basic ingredients? What is the raw materials? If I take leather of pig and bones and this joints, and I boil and then through the chemical process and finally in the market available again my question is is it animal protein or not? Yes. Okay. And on this packing is clearly written pig protein, cock protein, beef protein. So the name is not changed. Some scholars are not convinced the process of changing collagen to gelatin is not enough to call it different molecular structure than its origin. So, is this a chemical changes or is this not a chemical changes? Now what you said, then we will go to the DNA. If there is in this gelatin, if there is anything from pig, even dharra, dharra means a small item, small atom, the smallest atom. In the DNA test, if there is anything from pigs, then it is harm. It is not allowed because it's not considered a chemical changes. The answer is no, because it again animal protein and known as pig gelatin or beef gelatin. Is it protein any longer? Yes, it is protein. And we are using as a protein, animal protein. Can we do it by istihlal, when it comes formation, to transform this pig gelatin or dead animal gelatin to a halal gelatin. Example number one. A maita, an animal, died, it is not just, but should it be burned and become ashes? So, we can oxygenate and when oxide or decompose and become earth then it is tahir, now it is no longer najas. But is this example in Qiyas, Qiyas means analogy of deductive operative cause. Can we do Qiyas 
of gelatin of pigs on this example there a pig for example are dark diet and he become you know, decomposed with earth and other things are finished then the example is similar no because here the chemical changes is different than the other one or for example if something burned and we have ashes, Ramad, you yeah, only just rock. Because when you burn this, then now the total name is changed and DNA is changed and there is no one smell, no one thing for the ducks. Whenever something changes from one property to another, then the ruling likewise changed. Istihlal. If the quality of the element of a pure object changes the name and it is given a new name of a pure object, so it is no more an impure thing. It becomes a new object with a new rule. Meaning that if the natural composition of a substance changes to another substance of a different composition and can call the new substance by the new name, the ruling upon the substance changes too. Another proof. The Prophet ﷺ forbade making vinegar out of wine, but he said that if you should uh, if you should come across vinegar that has been made from wine, then it is halal. As we discussed the example, because when you put salt in wine and with some chemical actions, it will become vinegar. So this vinegar, but there is nothing with wine. Because it was halal, the second was halal, then with chemical reaction it was converted to haram, then again we are bringing it, but the material is halal. Why? The ruling is upon what the object is and not what it was. It was in this portion, this stage, not this stage. It was, if you go to it was, so it was halal. And it come again to the halal point. The ruling is not based upon what it was, it is based upon what it is. Another example. The swine dog which drawn in a salt lake and decompose and become salt itself is now halal. Fortunately dog or donkey or pig is went in this salt. After some time there is no DNA for this dog. There is no one zara or atom of this dog. This is totally soft, decomposed, chemical reaction, chemical changes. Now, salt is different from the meat and bones because salt is sodium chloride. Sodium chloride are two poisons, sodium and chlorine. If you use sodium itself, it's haram because it's poison. Chlorine is haram with poison, but when they mix like H2O, hydrogen and oxygen will come together so we have a water. Here in salt, what is the composition of salt is sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is totally different from the meat, bones and leathers. Or is any link with this you are talking about? Sir? So if 100% chemical changes is coming, yes, then we can use this salt. But in gelatin of pigs, the case is different than the salt. So most of the people, they easily are talking, if you go to YouTube and you listen, a lot of Muslims are saying, if pick and dug and put in the lake of salt and it convert to the salt, yes, we can use it. And that animal, we can use only the leather. Leather after ten. Not other things. Remember, 
yes, we can use this horns because there is no blood. But bones or giants or other things, it come with the meat. So be careful. And they are saying that if we can use the leather, so why not we can use they are the halal food known as salt. When separated, they make up two poisons, substance, which are then haram for consumption. We cannot use neither sodium, neither chloride, chlorine. Halal gelatin waste, not halal gelatin. If the gelatin is derived from any part of an animal, which can be consumed according to Sharia, any cow, animal, goat, and slaughtered according to Sharia rule, then it is permissible, otherwise it is not permissible. So we discuss when the source of gelatin has not been identified, then called mashbu, and there is sure doubt. Again, keep yourself away. If it undergoes a complete changes of metamorph metamorphosis. I tried, but this is a very difficult word. Tabdil al mahiya, then to change its nature, to, to change its DNA, is istihala. The gelatin will be permissible. But currently, according to my knowledge, there is no tabdeel al-mahiyya, yani change of nature. What is the conclusion? No one dies for not eating gelatin. If you don't know the source, if you don't know the material, if you are not confirmed, away. Nothing called gelatin deficiency. And thank you very much. And wassalamu alaikum. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.